just thought to do a quick video, give us all a wee jig at what I use to do my creations. I'll give you a wee sneak peek too. I'm working on this one at the minute. Right folks, so today I was going to do a wee tool review, give us a look at some of my tools. I thought I'd put my gloves on today because I don't want Anna admiring my long fingers. But I'm going to do the first one. <coughs> so, for those that are wondering, that is the current journal that I'm using. Very old one. I drum them all day, but it does a job. Currently running that on the flex shaft. I have the roto zip bit. The flex shaft's really handy. That's a wee wall tail cutter in there, but I'll have to go over the burrs in a minute. So that'll be the main thing I use for doing all my carvings. Recently, I've got this bad boy, a die grinder, and I even got a flex shaft for it too. Find that on Amazon if you want. I have no links in it because the only thing I'm affiliated with is Cutsaw. I'm proud to be. You can get that there on Amazon. And it does a job, it's cracker for the, the bigger bars, quarter inch bars. They're used for the flat or the die grinder. Like I say, we'll go over the bars in a wee minute. So that would be the Dremel I use, and then I've got this die grinder. That's the main two tools I'll use for the bulk remover. And I have a wee angle grinder out in the shed. And the tools are no good unless you have some burrs for them. So, the first burrs I got was these here, which I'm pretty sure all he is half a box of. The old diamond tips. They come in all different sizes, shapes and grits and stuff. They're really good for just cleaning up. And then I have my main burr set. This is all my go-to burrs. It's in my cuts all burr holder that I made. Just can see the video. I'll pop a link in the description for the video of me making this. You can see there I carved a big cuts all burr into the front of it. And that is the actual cuts all burr there. That's a 1 8 extreme flame bar. That's a bit bigger than a 1 8 there. So I have several different burrs in here. This one here, this is my cut saw. A 1 8 flame bar and a cut saw taper bar. And then these is just a wee selection of metal working burrs that I have. Have these here. That's a quarter inch cuts all uh, ball nose burr you call this. Hit that bad boy. That's one of the manure tools you got. It's really good for bulk removal of stuff. And I also have this quarter inch flame burr. It's in the original coating off cuts all. another nice piece of equipment or good tool should I say and next we'll have for the, the big removals I'll have this here shaping dish and that will be this one pop that over you can see how extreme that is that just pops onto the angle grinder it's cracker for really, really bulk removal of stuff. Definitely recommend them. If you're looking at any cuts all stuff, links in the description below. If you tell them Bob sent you, you can get 5% off. Just pop icon carve into the promo code when you're buying your stuff. You can also get these ones. That's just the original, but in a dish. Same size as this is this, four and a half inch, goes on the angle grinder. So you'd use that to 
bulk remove all the stuff and then you can use this to come behind it and smooth it all out before you would hit up the sander and I also have one of these here which is a cuts all wheel uh, many is if you've ever, if you've seen the cuts all had a wee seal on there for Black Friday and if you were lucky enough to get in on that you would have seen these here were available I'm pretty sure they're going to bring them out again sometime but uh, these here be awesome for doing bowls and stuff or for making a how would you call it a cup you put that down in the cup say it's a cup put that in the cup just buff your way down into it so that's another one I have from the cuts on it's a very good bar and I have the standard flap sanders that's a quarter inch one and then you have the wee mini sanders that you get that's a one eight goes into the drama that one goes into the angle or the die grinder the flex shaft you can see the size difference covers a brave bit more that one there and probably one of the most important tools the trusted sandpaper huh? how could you not go without your sandpaper sand and sand and sand and sand and fucking fall asleep and waking up and then sand and sand and sand until you fucking fall asleep again yep you all know sandpaper too can't forget that too so that's pretty much it folks that's a wee quick review and like I say if you're looking at any cuts off bars just check out the link below and if you use the promo code IKANCARV I-K-A-N-K-A-R-V you can save yourself 5% and even if you're not using the code just tell them Bob sent you like I say, I'm a cuts all affiliate. I'm very proud to be a cuts all affiliate. And if you find something that works, there's no need to change it. And these things work for me, so I get the job done. Pronto. Use that for bulk removal. Use that just to clean it up, and then you're good for hitting the sandpaper. So, there we go, folks. That's a wee quick look at my tools that I use and the burrs and stuff. Discs, dishes, burrs. I have a chainsaw out there too, like, but I do a separate video on the chainsaw stuff. I'll give a wee look at it, but just thought I'd do a quick video. Give us all a wee jig at what I use to do my creations. I'll give us a wee sneak peek too working on this one at the minute just practicing doing all that stippling you can see the top of that, that's done with that ball nose bar or is it this one? use that ball nose bar does it that them dots? Check out the grain slowly. That's a piece of redwood. But hopefully this here should be coming in the next couple of videos too, folks. Halfway there, I'm gonna practice that stippling effect all over it. See how it goes. Oh, hopefully these are all keeping well. Say, cuts all, cuts all. I just want to say thank you to everybody for all the support. Really do appreciate it. Just passed my first year on the channel now, so I'm no longer a beginner. I'm now about to start rocking and rolling. We'll see what we can get done. So, if anybody wants to stick around and enjoy the ride, we'll see what funky carvings we can do. My happy days. Anybody that doesn't want to stay, just Keep on walking. As I was saying, there's plenty more fish in the sea. Well, there's plenty of pages on YouTube. You don't need to be near me. 
Doug, take care, folks. Keep up the good work. <laughs>